special food, especially the chief fisherman and his elders, and then the chiefs of the various areas, so that we uh, form joint patrols of them to patrol the beaches to ensure that this kind of thing will not happen. Uh, the law is there. We have these measures in place. Although I'm new here, but my understanding, uh, they have in place this thing, but at times there's some realization. If we look at it, if there's some realization in that system, then we will ensure that uh, they do what they are supposed to do. The regulatory uh, have to patrol the beaches to prevent such things from happening again. And I think there's also the need for education because according to some of the parents and then the assemblymen, most of these people are illiterate and they don't know anything about some of these measures put in place under the COVID restriction act. I mean, not going, not congregating in uh, public without face mask and also not coming to beaches to enjoy as people used to do from time to time. And so there's a need for uh, the media to help us to uh, educate the masses on some of these measures. But I think the important thing is there should be a continuous education because if it becomes uh, once a while, uh, most of the time when the laws are first uh, promulgated, uh, some of these measures are made known and explained to the public through the media. But with time, uh, it seems uh, the education is relaxed, but I think for the sake of continuity, we need to be happy on it from time to time. We need to be happy on it, especially at this stage when we realize that the COVID-19 uh, disease is so around. If you look at other parts of the world, there are some countries where death to keeps on rising by the day. And even in Ghana, we cannot rule out the fact that the COVID-19 is still around because as I'm talking to you, some people may be at the hospitals receiving treatments. And so uh, when the disease is finally done with, when people are fully vaccinated and when the disease is finally done with, which we are praying to God will come soon, the government will make it known to people so that we go back to our normal lives and then uh, some of these protocols uh, will be off, like wearing of face mask and then washing of, washing of hands and so on and so forth. But for the time being that the government has not come out of uh, such announcement and it means that the disease is still there. We can see on TV, especially news from outside the country. And so we in Ghana should not think that we are free, even if we are not hearing that it is going up. We should still be worried. We should, we should still be careful. Once the disease is so uh, causing problems in other parts of the world, we shouldn't rule out the fact that uh, we can also, we may contact it one or the other way through uh, people who have been traveling. And so I want to plead with Ghanaians, I want to plead with everybody to take these COVID restriction measures seriously.